it is clearly understood that these three forces which are the basic building blocks for the existence they are in place the way they are and they are in movement devi is not a particle she is the space which holds the three fundamental forces in the existence most cultures on this planet have missed the feminine completely do you see these are the two most do- dominant factors then you will see there is no room for the feminine it's all about masculine the original word to describe the feminine was re the word re who was referred to as the the basic or the mother goddess of the existence is the basis of the more recent word stri stri literally means a woman the word re means moment possibility or energy it is also from this word the word arya evolved arya means a civilization a culture or symbolically expressing that when the masculine is on it is a conquest only when the feminine is on there is a civilization this is a culture which has greatly celebrated the feminine at the same time this is also a culture which has been a terrible exploitation of the feminine the basis of this culture is in celebration of the feminine but slowly the culture evolved into an exploitation of the feminine in terms of creation how the feminine happened first of all the story goes like this that forces which were detrimental to the existence rose and started threatening the very existence which was still in a infant state so the three main gods met brahma vishnu and mahesh who signified three different qualities in terms of modern physical sciences we can describe them as proton neutron and electron brahma vishnu mahesh in that order today according to modern physical sciences it is clearly understood that these three forces which are the basic building blocks for the existence proton neutron and electron they are in place the way they are and they are in moment the dynamism in them is only because of an electrical charge which is outside of these three forces so without that electrical charge or electromagnetic charge these three cannot be in any state of dynamism without this dynamic moment of these three there is no such thing as creation it is this aspect of science that this story is trying to propound in a very dialectical way that these three gods met and forces of destruction had risen and they did not know how to handle it they had three stellar qualities within them but they found these three qualities are not enough they understood a combination of these three qualities were needed 
So all of them hugely exhaled, letting out the best of what they are. And these three forces merged or this exhalation from these three forces merged and became the feminine. Devi. So the stories that we will talk, which forms the basis of this culture, are physical signs expressed in a very beautiful, dialectical, personified stories for the same fundamental forces which make creation happen. This force, which we refer to as Devi, the word Devi comes from the word Div. Div means the space. So, Devi is not a particle, she is the space which holds the three fundamental forces in the existence. That energy which makes the atom work is the same energy which makes the cosmos work. It is the same energy which everything, makes everything happen in existence. And this energy is always identified as feminine. I want you to understand, this is in celebration of the feminine, not the female. Because in fee there is a male, you know. This is about the feminine, not about being female. Being female is a very bodily thing. Being feminine is not of the body, it's much more than that. When survival is the main issue, naturally masculine will rule the world. Only when survival is well taken care of, feminine comes to play. Only when societies have crossed the survival part well, only then feminine comes to play. But unfortunately a great disaster is happening in the world, that is, though at least for the fifty percent of the population on the planet, survival is pretty well taken care of, they are just pushing their survival goals further and further. At one time survival meant just two meals a day, then it meant a hut, then it meant a house, then it meant a palace, now it means a Bentley or a Mercedes or whatever, it's… Survival goals are being pushed further and further and further. People are making their survival more and more difficult. Lot of people do not experience all the add-ons to their lives as add-ons. They see it as survival, another level of survival. Yes? Isn't it so? A different level of survival, a social survival which is in a completely different level. As long as you keep the survival as the most important part of your life, naturally masculine will rule. It is because of this today in the world, economics has become the most important aspect. Economics is all about survival. As long as economics is most important, then masculine will be significant, feminine will not be significant. Women may come up, but in the process of coming up, they are becoming more masculine than feminine. That's a great tragedy to the world. If the feminine… if the feminine was suppressed, there was a possibility that tomorrow it will come up. But if the feminine transforms itself into masculine, that is a big tragedy because to reverse that is going to take a very long time. To liberate the feminine will take much less time than to reverse the masculine into feminine. That is going to take a very long time. We are heading that way right now in the world because economics is the ruling factor. As technology and economics become more and more dominant, do you see these are the two most do dominant factors? Then you will see there is no room for the feminine, it's all about masculine. Only if love, music, art, this, that, all these things, the finer aspects of life are dominant, as much equally important in the world, as technology and economics are, only then there is scope for the feminine to play an equal role. Otherwise, women will start behaving like men, which is be beginning to happen in a big way. 
because somewhere it is believed that only by being like a man you can be successful which is a completely wrong idea it is a completely disastrous idea which is gone into people's minds today that only if you're like a man you can be successful so if we have to explore this dimension of the feminine in you or if we have to explore the dimension of feminine in the existence we need to be in a certain way otherwise feminine will be missed most cultures on this planet have missed the feminine completely they may have women not much feminine here and there flashes of feminine may happen but no genuine feminine happening no feminine happening as a big celebration no feminine happening in full force because most cultures evolved out of conquest life was always seen as a conquest as an achievement never as an inclusion only in a culture only in a place only within a human being who sees life as inclusion in that person feminine happens in full flow one who sees life as an achievement one who sees life as a conquest he or she will not know the feminine